我来上海已有四五年了，因为别人都说上海上班工资高，所以我就选择来上海了。就你一个人吃啊？昨天？那我干嘛喝了？哦，给你哥两个人吃的。我也卖喝的小酒了，必须的。<笑>感觉在上海这个地方，只要你有梦想，就很多都能实现。我梦想当了商务啊，我带着我老婆、小孩，每天或者一家人在一起，散散步，呃，下班散散步，聊聊天，感觉就挺好的我在上海中心当制作人，呃，这是全球第二高楼，呃，中国第一高楼。你们现在在在几楼呢？还好吧，像我们干习惯了，其实没什么危险。只要什么事情自己注意的话，几乎就没什么危险。阿贵阿贵，现在到几楼了？刚开始家里人应该会担心吧，然后慢慢的我跟他们解释了很多，他们慢慢的就觉得不危险了，就已经慢慢结束了。阿贵阿贵，收到请回答，现在在几楼？到暂时停一下，他们准准准备到六十七楼啊。就像我每次我每次在干活的时候，看到他们办公室的人，就是呃坐着茶聊聊天、开会啊，我感觉我的我希望我将来的小孩也能成为他们一样，不希望跟我一样子活得这么苦。这个理发店我是开了，以前是呢开了门面马路上面的，后来马路上面呢就是房租太贵了，承受不了，后来就找到弄上面了。我叫王健，是江苏人，来上海嘛二十三四年，现在在淮海中路弄上面开一个美发店，开了十六七年。弄堂的进来了是那个红砖和红瓦啊，但是这里大概成立了嘛八十多年，那里厨房间啊都是三四户一个一人家，就平时烧大家烧饭，请聊聊天，张家长李家短啊，邻里关系都蛮好的。早上九点钟到晚上九点，我们做的生意呢都是老年人。老年年，啊，年纪轻的还少，客户就是从年纪轻的跟着我十几年。我的小孩子从小时候就在上海，现在在上海工作，在这里住了这么多年时间，总归对个城市有感情的，也不想离开。上海给了我认识很多朋友，在这里像一个大家庭一样。我们这个弄堂进来的时候，这对面有个人环茂，以前是老房子都拆掉的，啊，每就是我们看到的啊，一层层的上来了，发展太快
，真的是很开心。想有时候没想过的事情，就眼睛一眨就过去了，就像做梦一样，有时候感觉到很累，跟不上。When I came to marry George in the 80s, things in Shanghai were still quite difficult. We went to the friendship store to have a Coke each. That was our uh, wedding celebration. My name is Betty Barr, and I was born in Shanghai. I lived here till I was 17. In those days when I was growing up in Shanghai, uh, it was semi-colonial, and so we had a lot of privileges. And many Westerners lived in big houses with gardens, uh, had a lot of servants. Uh, but our family was a poor Western family because my father was a missionary teacher. So we had only three servants. Uh, but we lived in a very big house. In your street, who was the richest man? In your well, street? the richest man was the one who worked for foreigners. And of course I knew that things were happening in China around me, but it didn't impinge on me personally. For 37, mm. in fact, it just happened that our family was away. Uh, we went to Dallas and Scotland. And so our house, that big house that we saw in the photos, was bombed just by chance. And my parents lost everything. But we were safe. So what about your family in 37? Well, we, we had to run away uh, in, into the former uh, French concession. So we lost everything. Eh? Yeah. Mother had to sell my younger sister and uh, to get money to run away to the countryside. I came back to Shanghai uh, in 1973. Uh, and I came as a teacher of English when I went to teach. And a tall, good-looking Western woman, a Margaret, she kindly invited me to her home. And she had been living in Shanghai for a long time with a Shanghainese husband, George Wang. That time, of course, I had no idea at all uh, that I might have a future relationship with him because he was married to my good friend. Sadly, uh, Margaret became ill and died in 1983. And so you wrote to me, I was in Scotland. Mm. And it, it, cost, it cost me a whole month's salary to phone you. Oh, really? Oh. One letter led to another letter, and uh, eventually he proposed to me by letter. I answered his pr proposal of marriage by sending a telegram saying yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you know, we love each other all the time. So, as far as I know, I will live here the rest of my life happily with my Shanghainese husband, George Wang.